So the sub is almost finished and still have a few things to do. So now let's implement the search screen. For that, I have already write the design code for it and I will explain it in details. And I will do the state management during this tutorial. I didn't write its code yet, so I will write it during this tutorial. So for that, I have added a new file in here in the widgets folder called search by header and it has few parameters and this search by header file is used to show this widget in here the image the text and the text field and this two buttons or consumer buttons in here you can change the item and play with it to change it as you want for example you can change this to 300 and this space in here will change for example, you can change this to 300 also. For example, if you prefer it, you can keep it like this. And as you can see, it is a stack because this text field is above of this widget. And this is a gradient color, which is I initialized in this container in here. And this position is actually for this favorite and this one is for the cart and this one for the image in here so as you can see it is very easy and it's straightforward and those widget actually for this title in here and for the subtitle actually I'm not using a subtitle in here so I keep it empty we can change it we can just delete it for example but I will keep it for you and for example instead of this title if i write text this search text is being changed and finally the stack child actually the stack child is for this text field so we can also change it for example i will show you so here it is as you can see, we are passing all of these elements through the constructor and the search by header. Now, in the screens, we've already added this file, but it was kind of empty or just has an edit or text field. So in this file, we manage all of these items. We added the search header and this feeds the screen actually this feeds the screen is it just like the feeds the screen that we implemented in here so i added this greedy view to it so here it is here i initialized the greedy view as a child for it and at the top of it i initialized a custom scroll view so once the user scroll this widget shrink up and become smaller and do this little animation it is quite similar to this widget that we did it in here also you can change this items or these numbers in here for example if i choose 300 it is become different it is actually changing the text field location so as you can see and the padding for this title you can change everything and in here for example we are passing as I said those arguments such as the for example the title and the stack child which is the edits text and our case and I did few styling for this text you can change it as you want the important thing is once the user type anything in it the color of this icon is being changed to red and once the user press on it this text is being cleared and it's not focusing in it anymore so in here once the user press on it first of all we are clearing the text controller and secondly we are calling the fox node of it and call 
the unfox method to it just like this and in here i'm doing a small check for the x button as i said before whether the th search text controller is not empty the color will be red and if it is empty the color will be gray also you can add this to call this fox node or this method in here for example you can type it like this and say if it is empty do nothing we can call null or just like this if i save it now now this button can be pressed but it's doing nothing we can just call null in here now the button cannot be pressed anymore now let's do the real work Let's go to the products provider and in here we need to implement a method to do the search. So for that, let's initialize a new method. I will initialize a new list actually just like this one. I will actually copy it, paste it in here and name it as search query maybe it will take this text field text so i will name it in here is the search text and in here we should call the search text and for sure we need to check whether the title in here not the and in here we can change the name for it to search list like this so this actually do the work so once the search text match the title it will be added to the search list and later on we need to show only the search list in here so let's go back to the search and let's add a method for this text and call the search method that we implemented and the product provider in it so in here i have already initialized the provider so i will copy its name and actually we need to add a method for it so in here let's add unchanged like this give it value first of all we need to put the text to lowercase so it match all and second we need to call the methods that we just created. So let's call the product data dot search query dot. We can call the value for it or the search controller dot text. It will be the same. Let's save it now and see what will happen. nothing is getting changed okay so for that we need to initialize a new list to show only the searched item okay so in here let's initialize a new list for the searched items so i will name it search list and let's initialize it and for sure it's going to be of type product like this now we need to set this list equal to the product data dot search query and for sure we need to call the set state for it let's cut this paste it in here now we need to call the search list instead of the products list or all products list which is i initialize it in here it will it is equal to the products list so let's call in here the search list and in here call the search list i will start it now go to the search screen search for anything so here it is it is working very well 
Now, once the user clear it, only the last item that he searched about appeared in here. If I go to the other screen and go come back, the search screen in here is empty. Once the user press anything, the result appear in here. So we need to do a method to show all the products once the user didn't search for anything and show the user something once no results appear. So we can do that simply by checking the search text controller the text if it is empty do something if it is not do something else so let's copy this and come here and let's check it if it is equal to null we need to call the product list dot length and do the same in here if it is null we need to call the product list and call it is index like this now i will start it if i come here nothing is getting changed let's delete this and call dot is empty and restart it again come here so here it is all the products appeared in here now if i search for something for example let's search for apple the result is getting correctly or the upper products is being displayed if i clear this text all the other products appeared in here now still we need to do something once there's no results nothing is getting displayed so it's better if we show the user something like no result found or something like this we need to do a small check so if the search text is not empty and here we should check if it is not empty and we need to do something else so let's call and if this is the case let's return text and type no results found and let's put it in a center and in here we need to check also something else we need to check if the if this list the search list is empty so we need we can check its length or we can just access the as empty method just like this here it is this text just appeared if i delete this here it is now in here appeared no results found now for sure we can change the styling for it i will do some few styling text style in here and give it a color I will not actually change the color, I will change the size for it, for example 30 maybe and give it font family or font weight or font weight mm, let's just choose W700 maybe this is, yeah it looks better in my opinion you can change it as much as you want you, we can add a small image in here for example I will do it so let's wrap this text by a column let's get rid of the center it's being useless now and above it let's initialize an icon and let's say feather dot search and save it we can change the size for it maybe 40 and add a small sized box between them maybe give it a height of 50 and add a sized box at the top beginning of it like this now I will choose 60 for this size 
and it looks great actually in my opinion you can change it as much as you want and for the search text you can also style it if you don't like it so here it is now our application is taking shape and we finished everything inside of it and later on we will work on the login and on the landing screen so stay tuned